So the navel is right in here. I hope you know it. And uh, the navel is the place where you will draw the energy from outside. We're going to draw the energy from outside right into the navel. And we're going to start the energy and flow. The navel like a battery that store the energy. And the mid eyebrow is like a place you can draw the energy into it. And you can draw it down. Okay. And the navel also uh, work as the uh, collection energy. But collection energy. So now we're going to work on um, the navel is a starting point and the ending point also. Start point and ending point. Very important. It's the Ori Palace. There's two Ori on the side and the cervix on the middle. And the way to find the way to find the uh, Ori, um, Money will show you how to find the Ori. If you put the hand on the navel, the two thumb on the navel for lady, and put the, the hand down this way, you find the Ori. And we call the Ori palace because you draw, the lady will draw the energy from here into the Ori, into the cervix. And we're going to recycle the energy. The sperm palace is right on the uh, prostate gland and have on the side of the prostate gland we have the seminal vesicle duct. Here the pelvic bone, behind the pelvic bone, the whole this area of the prostate gland, seminal vesicle duct, and in here it's called a sperm palace. The perineum, we have the uh, whole part of a lady, the whole part. The perineum, so we have the anus and between the anus and the sexual organ we call front part of the perineum. So this whole part from here is called the front part of the perineum, including the sexual organs. And the anus itself we call a middle part. The middle part. And the anus and the cock anus and the back part between the coccyx, we call the back part back. The back part of the perineum. Okay, we, ha we have to, this is very important, we're going to do a lot, a lot, a lot of exercise of this. Okay, if you look at another, another part in the side view this way, in the side view this way, here is the coccyx, is that right? And here is the anus, and here is the sexual organ, here the male sexual organ, so whatever, whatever you have. So, okay. So, between the sexual organ and the anus, we call our front part. Front part. The anus itself, we call the middle part. The anus and the coccyx, we call a back part. Okay? Front, middle, and back. Oh, here. Front, middle, and back. Get it? Very important because I tell you, you're going to do so much exercise on the perineum and I make sure you're going to fall in love with your anus and your perineum. <laughs> you're going to do so much and, uh, and, uh, until you have to fall in love with it. Because all the, the whole thing is that we have to draw the energy from this part. There's so much energy in this area. We have to draw this energy from this part all the way up into the spine. And there's a whole goal that we're doing here. The sacrum point is right in this area and this is called sacrum pump. In the Taoism, regarding the sacrum is the most important part. Why? Because this is the, the big side and, uh, and last part. The sacrum is still in this way and the sacrum it have a movement by itself. It's very small movement. Okay? And it's the how you pump the fluid, the fluid in the brain. So when it comes down, it has to be feed the nutrition to the nervous. We have so much nervous system in the spine. And the, nu the nutrition, the white fluid that in the spine is the nutrition carry on. And try to feed the, uh, the, sec uh, uh, the, the, the nervous system. And the pump, when you're breathing and you move, the pump is moving and it pumps the fluid up and down. Otherwise the fluid goes down and don't go up and we're going to get trouble. Now, the next one 
is the T11. The T11 means thoracic 11. It's a lot of nerve branches on the back there. So opposite of the solar plexus. How to find the solar plexus? You put your hand on the navel, put your hand on the tip of the sternum. Right on the tip of the sternum, the sharp tip of the sternum, you break in the middle, that is solar plexus. Right opposite the solar plexus is the T11. Or you bend your back down. You, some people may have one bone stick out longer, but two out more than the other people. There is a T11, or we call a thoracic 11. If you don't have it, don't worry. Okay? You can find another way by grabbing your last floating ribs. Your last floating rib. When you follow the last floating rib to the back, that is the T12, mean thoracic 12. From thoracic 12 come out one inch is T11. Thoracic 11. T11 opposite the adrenaline gland. So the T11 is the adrenaline gland center. The adrenaline gland is very interesting that in, in a thousand, in the way I, I, I studied the thousand, I like the way the thousand proportionally, slowly, and strengthening, not drain out the adrenaline gland. The next one is C7. C7, when you bend your back, bend your head down, you feel one big bone stick out. One big bone stick out. Very big bone, right on the base of your shoulder. Now, from there, we come up to the base of the skull. Right on the top here. When it right between here, if you bend your back head back this way, you feel a hole there, right in here. Okay? The crown point apparently is involved with a pineal gland point. It's right on here. It's about three inches from the brain down. If you draw a line from your nose straight up and the ear up and right in the middle here, you're going to see, feel a point. Apparently it's this point, if you see the crack here. It's about this point. Okay? About this point. And that is called a crowd point. If you drill a hole right from here down about three inches, you're going to meet a pineal gland point. The important part is the pineal gland that we're going to work on. In the Tarsical Love, we try to draw the energy up and try to fortify and white and revitalize and rebuild the gland. The sexual energy can rebuild anything. That's how they discover in the olden time. Because they said when you are when the people have too much sex, the first thing they're gonna drain out is the brain and the glands. This one has to draw all energy out because every part in the body has to contribute energy go out. Every part of the whole body has to contribute the best. Because the body think that hey, he's gonna build another another guy like him. So he has to get every part that he has. <coughs> all the smart, all the all the handsome or all the beautiful thing that the guy has to go out that way. That's how this energy drain out so much in this way. Okay? The pituitary grand part is right behind the mid eyebrow inside here. Right in the between here. Okay? Right in the between inside here. It sit right in here. It's connecting built to a ball. We call it crystal room. Here the pineal, here the pituitary. It's right in this area. And this point is a it's a very powerful point. It's the point of receiving the energy in a human plane. In this way. This one receives the energy in a vertical plane. This way. We're gonna learn it. In the microcosm, in the microcosm, we learn energy connecting with the vertical plane and the horizontal plane. Also, from this part, in the thoracic lobe, we bring the sexual energy all the way up into the brain to rebuild the brain, to increasing a memory. That's what thing we know. When the people lose too much sexual energy, they lost their brain or they lost their memory. So you can increase your memory from 16K to one megabyte, that much, <laughs> you know? 
that is uh, like a plug in, plug on the memory and increasing, keep on increasing. The, this is the way. When the people lose too much energy, when the people have sexual energy and they lose out the sexual energy, it's, they drain the energy out this way. It's incredible that the people are now losing so much sexual energy and they don't know it at all. And all the problem we have now is we lose energy. We have to draw this energy all the way up into the brain this way. And to, to rebuild the brain, to falsify, to increase the brain, and the energy going to travel down to build a gland, build a heart, build everything. Okay, the palate part is very interesting. If you look at the palate here, palate, why on here have a hole? And this hole connecting with the brain. Okay, the fluid floating so much in this area. This hole, right in here have a hole, right behind the teeth. And we move back a little bit, you're gonna find a soft palate point. Over here is a hard palate point. Okay? And you can you can actually stimulate the pineal gland. And this is the throat center. Right in here. You draw the energy from here down. And here's the heart center, right on the top of the heart. Right here. The thigh, um, the heart center is between these two nipples, right in here. This is the, the thymus gland. The heart center controls all the thymus gland also, right in the between here. And now you come down to the solar plexus, right in the between in the, all the organ, right in here. The solar plexus. Okay? The navel is right on this point. 